Hey, ever wonder how people seem to jump through Android Studio so quickly without ever seemingly moving their hands from the keyboard? Today we're going to talk about a few really useful navigational shortcuts that you can use to help be a more productive Android developer. We're going to look at some navigational commands within Android Studio. These are all commands that will let you jump quickly from file to class to your recent files list, things that you will use very commonly on a day to day. Now you don't have to learn all of these at once, but even just picking up one or two at a time will really start to make you a more efficient developer. Before we get started, I'll just mention that I'm going to be doing this on a Mac, so all of the commands you might see will have the, the Mac version of the shortcut. However, I will include the name of the command as well as the Windows equivalent. I will be using the default Mac key bindings that ship with Android Studio. Keep in mind, you might have a different setup or you might want to customize these yourself. You can totally do that. These are just to introduce you to the commands themselves and then you can customize the shortcuts that fit your style best. Okay. Let's dive into Android Studio and learn some of these shortcuts. First off, we're going to look at my personal favorite shortcut. You can look up a command using Command Shift A. In this example, we look up Refactor, which then takes us directly into the menu and lets us quickly jump to all these actions. If you don't remember all these shortcuts, this is really useful. You can use Command Shift A to look up any type of command. You could also jump straight to a specific Refactor command or to a specific navigational command. Looking up a command by name is really useful, especially when you're just starting out. Now let's take a look at some navigational commands that you can begin to learn and leverage in your everyday development. We'll start by taking a look at the navigational shortcuts listed here when you open Android Studio. So imagine you want to open straight to a class. We can do that with the class command. So this is Command O on Mac, Control N on Windows. This will open this dialog that you see here. As you type, Autocomplete will kick in and show you matching class names. You can hit enter to select a class and jump straight to that file. By default, this will let you search for project classes. However, after you pull up the dialog, if you hit the shortcut again, it will allow you to search non-project classes as well. To navigate between recently opened files, use Command E on Mac, Control E on Windows. This will pull up the dialog that you'll see here. As you press E again, it allows you to navigate through the list and switch between files. To open a file, you can use the Search Everywhere shortcut. That's Shift-Shift on both platforms. Once you execute the shortcut, this dialog will pop up and let you type in the name of the file. Hit Enter to jump straight to that file. You can also use the Go to File shortcut. On Mac, that's Shift-Command-O. This will also allow you to enter the name of a file select it and jump straight to that file. To move between edit locations, even if those are across different files, you can use the back and forward commands to quickly switch between the two. We need to complete our current statement and we don't want to have to jump to the end of the line and add a semicolon or brackets manually. So in this example here, we're typing out the majority of the statement, but when we get to the end, We'll use the command shift enter shortcut to complete the current statement, which will jump to the line and add the semicolon for us. We can use the same shortcut to complete the stub of a method body. So in this case, we execute the shortcut and it will automatically add the brackets and put the cursor inside the method body for us. Here we'll see another instance of using the back and forward shortcut. If we click into this method, we can use the back and forward to jump between the call site and the implementation. You can also create your custom key bindings and then export those later so that you can use them across machines or in different IDEs as well. If you open Android Studio Preferences, go to Key Map, You'll see that in the top there's a drop down with a number of default key maps based on different IDEs or editors to fit your preference. You can customize the shortcut for any given command. You find a command, you can right click, click Add Shortcut, 
and you can then type the shortcut that you want to assign to this command. This is also a good way to look up what the existing shortcut is for any given command if you don't already know. You can search for commands using the search window in the top right. You can enter a name and it will bring you back a list of options that match that keyword. The results will be returned in groups based on their functionality, such as main menu, editor actions, or navigation. That's it. We've covered a number of shortcuts that you can use to be more productive within Android Studio. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment, share on social media. I'd love to hear other shortcuts that you find really useful within Android Studio. And hopefully we can continue this conversation and all become more productive. Thanks for watching.